All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this uh, snapper filet dish. Uh, we're gonna do it with some garlic roasted green beans, and I did happen to make a little celery root puree. First and foremost, I do have my cast iron going. Uh, it's, it's nice and smoking. I'm actually gonna turn it up even a little bit, okay? And it does have a little bit of residual oil in it, but I'm gonna show you guys just, just about how much we need to add in order to get this fish uh, cooked well and keep it from sticking. Look, I, I know it's crazy, but a cast iron is essentially a, a frying pan, okay? So next, I'm gonna let that come back up. I'm gonna show you guys how to season this uh, snapper that we just cut up, okay? I'm gonna start with salt, okay? I'm gonna do the flesh side first, okay? Because what's actually gonna happen is I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna do uh, the skin side down first, okay? And we're gonna do a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And personally for me, whenever I cook fish, I like a little bit of Old Bay. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Flip this bad boy over. And I have I have let these kind of dry out on this paper towel. That's perfect. You want that skin nice and crispy. And this backside, we're actually gonna salt a little bit extra. Okay, because what you wanna do is you, you wanna create a barrier between the fish and the oil, and that salt will actually help you there. It will almost create sort of a crust. Then we have some fresh cracked pepper again, a little bit more Old Bay. Okay. Now, going back to the cast iron. See, it's only on a medium heat, but I let it really rise up on a high. Okay, it's on a medium heat. I'm gonna make sure this oil makes its way around the whole pan, okay? I'm gonna leave it on this medium, and I'm gonna go ahead and start our fish now, and I'm gonna lay it away from me. Okay, that way, that way when that last drop hits, the oil goes that way and not towards you, okay? And yes, you're gonna see it, um, you're gonna see these kind of shrivel up a little bit and that's okay. What I'm gonna do is use my fish tongs and make sure that they make their way down. Okay, that way that whole skin gets crispy, not just the outer parts, because it will shrivel and it will kind of buckle on itself, and you won't get that crispy skin. But you see how it's not sticking, you're kind of moving it around. Okay. Actually gonna add just a tiny, tiny bit more oil, okay? Now, as long as this heat's on medium, you really shouldn't burn uh, that skin side, and that's fine. You do want to leave it on there for that first turn for quite some time, and then once once I do turn this fish over, what's going to happen is I'm going to add add a little bit more seasoning with some fresh herbs and maybe a little bit of lemon. Okay, and and always always I try to finish my fish with butter. You don't have to. I definitely prefer it. Okay, especially a, a nice and lean fish like this. Over here, I am gonna get started. Um, I have some green beans that I've already blanched. Okay, I'm gonna turn this, this pot up. I've trimmed these green beans. They're already blanched. They're pretty much at the perfect point for me. All I wanna do is really heat them up with some garlic, get some nice toasted on them, uh, season with a little salt, pepper, and some oil, and we'll be all set to go, okay? Make sure all that oil is underneath underneath these bad boys. Now I have some thyme. I have a clove of garlic. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon over once we turn these over. Okay, garlic chips right here are gonna be for our green beans. and check these bad boys. Nice crispy skin. Oh, those are good. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn it down to low. Okay, because what we don't want to do is we don't want to overcook this fish. It's going to add some time. It's going to, it's going to come up on you a little bit. And you got to be careful when you do this well, as well. Okay, we're adding acid to the pan. Okay. Trying to do the butter. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay, all the way off. That's pretty ready to go. Fish is nice and firm, nice and inside. We don't want to overcook it. I'm going to focus my attention now on the green beans. Our oil going right there. Start off with our garlic. And add our green beans now. Remember, I just want to heat these back up. Okay, they're already cooked. Give it some love. Some fresh cracked pepper. And you know what? I might I might hit these ones with some white wine too. Let that pan deglaze. Let that mix up. Really come with those green beans. Give some of that butter love to that fish right there. Careful whenever you uh, use white wine, okay, or or any wine for that matter. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. Fish is ready. Green beans are ready. Uh, I did make a, a nice little celery root puree. You know, you don't have to be all fancy or anything. Okay. And it's just some of these nice green beans right here. And a couple of pieces of that garlic. Go ahead. Oh, that's nice and crispy. Oh, that looks great. And finish that right there. Finish that right on top. Finish the dish a little bit with some rock salt over the top. A little bit of green onion. That'll do it. That's a red snapper filet with some garlic roasted green beans and a celery root puree. Hope you guys give it a try. Try butchering that fish. Okay, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hope you enjoy.